I think it's great. <laughs> well, she's, I don't know which wife she's gonna be, number one, number two, but <laughs> yeah, bring it on. <laughs> spoken about this before but yeah it's amazing because Jodie is um is a fantastic actress I just want to know if she's gonna be northern <laughs> I want to hear her voice I don't know what she's gonna do but Christmas Day yeah. oh are you guys excited for that <laughs> awesome. All right. Peter hated because he really loved the classic ones that were all white so he was very very jealous I think the, the thing for me on set, what I always remember is on um, the 50th anniversary on the first day was being on the TARDIS with three doctors at once and the first take they were all discussing between themselves and then I had to come in and just go, oh, um, but doctor, why? <laughs> and then all three doctors all turned their heads at once and I could not do it without bursting out laughing or going bright red because it was just hilarious to have three doctors in, in one place. So that from inside out, that's what I remember. Stole, I think, I, can, I think I'm safe now, I can say it. I stole a piece of TARDIS. You didn't, you stole a piece of a TARDIS? I did. What piece? Like one like this big? What? The props department were in on it with me. So they gave me it. I think Stephen knows now. How did, how did you hide it about your person? Well, there was a bit of a team effort going on to get it out of the building. So I have a piece of TARDIS. Hang on, but was it the controls? No, 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 it wasn't the controls. Peter would kill me. Um, no, 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 it was one of the, um, it's got all the Gallifreyan symbols on. I think it's, it's not Ooh. very important. <laughs> but um, if anybody is looking for it, it is in my house. Um, I also stole my TARDIS key, which is on a necklace, so I've still got it. So as long as we don't change the locks, I can get back in. Um, and randomly, Props also gave me a clockwork squirrel. <gasps> oh my god, you have a clockwork squirrel? <laughs> Yeah. And as a leaving gift, which was actually given to me, I've got, you know, the police box sign, um, but it's like just as the sign and it works as a neon light in, in my house. Oh. Oh. Bloody oh. hell. She's like, I should have stolen a lot more, you know, you had the chance. What the hell did you do with the box sign? <laughs> this whole thing, your nickname is now Oh, absolute beasts. <laughs> Awful. Yeah, in fact, it does a disservice to the animal kingdom to call them animals. To call the actors animals, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's true. Some egos need taming, don't they? What about you guys? Um, I would... I, I think I'd love to be a photographer. Um, if I wasn't an actor, but when I was your age, I always wanted to be an archaeologist. <laughs> Are you archaeologists? <laughs> oh, there are some in here. Oh, amazing. Lots I always wanted to do your job. Um, but now it would be a photographer or um, a writer because I keep meeting writers who just can take themselves away to different places of the world and lock themselves up and write. I wish I had that skill. I'd love to be able to do that. Uh, if I wasn't going to be, um, if I wasn't going to succeed as an actor, um, I was going to go to art school and um, paint, uh, and I still, I still do that, um, and uh, so that's probably what I would do, um, or I'd work in set design or something like that. So it's still kind of, I think I'd still be working in the same creative world. <laughs> Thank you.